Gucci leaves their customers out in the rain? Shooketh! What are you doing, Gucci? Gucci and Adidas, both of you. Nasty little rascals. What's going down with Gucci and leaving their customers in the rain? Find out right after you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. You can push the join button next to the subscription button and become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Dacob all spelled together over there as well for extra perks. Thank you to all my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday and you're all invited to join the live chats. Hello chat. Hello chat. How's it going my loves? So listen, yes, you heard it here and you heard it well. Gucci leaves its customers out in the rain. So Gucci just a short while ago had a fashion show runway collection presentation collab Gucci with Adidas it's like you know these collaborations it's like the only thing that exists nowadays almost no brand allows itself to just post its own or publish or produce or sell its own products it always has to be collaboration with something else by the way the Fendace collaboration is not selling out I, I think they've over calculated their popularity and the quality of this anyway but that's not what this video is about this video is about gucci leaving their clients out in the rain and the drama that followed a release or announcement for pre-orders of the um release of an umbrella what you might ask yourself let me show you it's actually not just an umbrella it is a parasole so that means it is a sun umbrella. <laughs> it's an umbrella that protects you from the sun. As this umbrella was announced for pre-orders for $1,290 plus tax, the internet went ballistic and started criticizing Gucci slash Adidas. Why, you might ask? Because this umbrella is not waterproof. This umbrella is made in some sort of cotton fiber. It gets, it's, when, if, if it rains, it gets soaked with the water and then the water starts falling through the fabric of the umbrella and people are shocked. They're like, how dare you trick us? How dare you? How dare you ask for so much money? And the umbrella doesn't even protect you from the rain. Gucci is leaving its clients out in the rain. If it wasn't for one little thing though, you know, on YouTube, you would say, well, this is clickbait. This is clickbait. You're posting a title and a thumbnail that prom promises some content. And then we click into that video and then the video has nothing to do with the title or with the thumbnail. So people are claiming that in a way, this is clickbait. But if we really read into it, it's called a sun umbrella. They actually call it very clearly Adidas for Gucci sun umbrella. And the next image is a text that explains a little bit more. And I'm going to read it to you. This is from the Gucci website. Product details. Part of the Adidas for Gucci collection. This sun umbrella features the interlocking G and trefoil print. Adidas and Gucci venture into a collection where the web juxtaposes with the three white stripes. And the GG monogram combines with the trefoil, pulling inspiration from the creative director's memories of the 80s and 90s. Oh boy, they really like to jerk it off themselves. Mental. This is a brain fart, brain mas uh, masturbation, these sort of texts. I'm always irritated by them. Um, Pulling inspiration from the creative director's memories of the 80s and 90s, emblematic houses motifs mix with those of the historic sportswear brand Adidas, resulting in a series of hybrid looks. This text should be criminal, not the umbrella. But anyway, so uh, interlocking G and trefoil print, blue and red linen, cotton blend. So the umbrella is linen and cotton. <laughs> you know. Uh, green and red web, carved birch wood handle. Nice to have a little wooden handle. Live in ferret. Adidas for Gucci, G-shaped handle. Uh, umbrella size, wood shaft. A diameter size, it's made in Italy. Sure, Gucci. Uh, and then please note, this item is not waterproof and is meant for sun protection or decorative use. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Just my opinion. 
Um, nothing more, not rooted in facts or reality. So everything's alleged, right? But interesting how they say that uh, it's meant for sun protection. Now, I would be very careful, Gucci and Adidas, to state such a thing because cotton and linen don't really protect you from the bad radiations of certain uh, light rays. So unless this umbrella doesn't have a particular UV protection coating or God knows whatever gamma ray coating, then it doesn't protect from the sun. You could get sued potentially, but that's also beyond the scope of this particular trial, right? Because we're just talking about the fact that this thing is not for rain. Now on internet, on the interwebs, people have been going bananas and ballistics saying, oh my God, this is such a ripoff. This is clickbait. Or this is crazy. Now, what do you guys think? My personal opinion, let me know in the comment section down below what you think also in the chats now. My personal opinion is like, if you know a little bit about history of fashion, you will know that umbrellas were not just created to protect you from the rain. Some umbrellas were actually this small and they were just there held by ladies, not even to protect from the sun, but as an accessory to keep your hands busy and occupied and flirty to turn the umbrella while you're walking around. Other umbrellas were created to protect you from the sun. And then some umbrellas were made for the rain. But a lot of umbrellas were not made to be functional. A lot of umbrellas were made as a luxury object for the rich. Why? Because you can. Umbrellas later assumed a more utilitarian functionality, which is to protect you from the rain. Now, of course, Adidas is not a luxury brand. So talking about luxury and Adidas kind of does not go hand in hand. Gucci also, it's a luxury brand, but yeah, no, fine. Let's call it a luxury brand, even though for me, it's kind of borderline. <laughs> um, now, this umbrella in particular does not really have the luxury zhuzh and vibe to it. I'm looking at it now, the the actual, you know, um, you know, I'm looking at the pattern of the umbrella. Nothing about this. The handle, the G handle is gorgeous. The wooden G handle is fabulous. I I think that's really beautiful. The the carved wood. But the actual, you know, umbrella cover with all of these like Adidas trefoil and the Gucci logo, it just looks sporty. It looks like it, it doesn't look luxury to me. It looks like a sportive thing. And it kind of clashes with the whole concept of it being luxury to wear while you protect yourself from the sun. Who does that? So a lot of people are also claiming, well, this is just a collectible piece. I beg to differ. I think if you want a collectible piece from this collection, there are other pieces that are more collectible and covetable than this umbrella. But what do you guys think? Leanne says, I live in Vegas. I totally understand a bougie umbrella. Debbie says, I'm a weirdo for liking it. Debbie says, yes, perfect for Las Vegas, baby. Black Noise is calling it the most expensive skin cancer. <laughs> Alex says, you know it's summer when you see Asian ladies with umbrellas. Interesting point. And of course, this collection is mighty big in Asia. Uh, the pre-sales or the pre-orders are mighty big in Asia. And they obviously also uh, have, well, in some regions, a lot of sun. So that kind of makes sense as well. Squickity says, the parasol moment is so bougie, live in ferret. Jesus says, it better have UV protection. Well, they don't state that it has UV protection here in the product details. So I don't think it does. Unless they don't prove us wrong. It, it doesn't have UV protection. All of us says, wait, do I need a sun umbrella? Is this the one that is stationary or do you carry around? Also, is it UPF rated for UV blocking? So many questions. All of all... It's you carry it around. <laughs> so there you have it. It's, it's not stationary. Um, Sabrina9556 says it's still a beautiful item. Ellen says, I must say it looks cute. Squickity says no UV blocking. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem to have any UV blocking. Squickity says I would too, but I don't want to carry it around when I'm inside, says Squickity. Mm. Julie says, so you won't get sunburned on the way to the Chanel VIP boutique. Just be sure to remember your Fendace scarf. Well, no, technically you will get sunburned because this one, 
they did not state that it actually protects us from the UV rays. So even if you're wearing it, you can still get sunburn. Oh, believe it or not. Uh, Johnny says, um, imagining me waking in a beautiful day in the city full of people, priceless. You mean walking. Imagining me walking on a beautiful day in the city full of people, priceless. Gloria Rathino says, I have a parasol from paper. They're not waterproof parasols because they are not paraguas. Exactly. Sol means sun. So they protect from the sun, not from the rain, not from the water. Agua means water in Spanish. Red Frag says, I have used an umbrella in the sun. Of course, you can use a real umbrella in the sun. Love DIY says, I love it, but it's not enough protection. Olive Oil says, some influencer will buy it for one photo shoot and sell it on Vestiaire. No, Olive Oil. Some influencer will get it for free, do a couple of photo shoots, and then sell it on Vestiaire and get some more money on top. Debbie says, it's a fantasy piece for my fantasy life. But Debbie loves Adidas. Debbie loves the trefoil. So you're a bit biased. <laughs> Squeakity says, I have one of those old school Japanese parasols. They are kind of water resistant. Um, Black Noise says, sitting outside soaking up Gucci Ray's monogrammed moles from the sun. Oh my God, living for the shade. Vonnie Brown says, who signed off on this? Alessandro Michele. <laughs> Caleb says, I believe that the history of the umbrella was originally to protect against the sun. Yes. Julia says, people just don't read. It's all right there in the fabric description. It is a sun umbrella in the product description. More decorative than to protect from the sun. It is a decorative accessory. But then we have to ask ourselves, a decorative accessory for $1,300 plus, dollars, including tax? Tyler says, living in Phoenix, I'm used to seeing sun umbrellas. <laughs> Julia says, it's an overpriced parasol. Orsi says, I really love the old white umbrellas to protect you from the sun. Squickety says, I think I'd rather have a straw hat moment. Olive Oil says, oh, so it is for fashion only? Yeah, best believe. Yeah, best believe, babes. The handle is to die for, Tyler. I agree with you. Novo Riche to the max, says Vaketa Rata Corrige, Gabriel P. People who can afford those ridiculous umbrellas don't stay out long under the sun. Well, you got a point there, too. Unless you're not going to the races, to, to the horse races, darling, to polo, darling. Ke uh, the handle is cute, though, says Louis. Kev says, might be chic. If the Adidas logos were made into lace with cutouts, and Jesus says the handle is giving gothic vibes, but the rest, cha. <laughs> Maria B says, one of the ugliest things I've seen. Let me know what your thoughts are in the description and the comment section down below. Subscribe and never give up on love.